In 2011, food prices hit their highest level in history. For most of us, that was merely a source of frustration, forcing us to eat out less often or rearrange our spending priorities. But for millions of people around the world who live on a dollar a day, rising food prices had a devastating effect. Here's how. Imagine that you had just one dollar a day to live on, and from that dollar, 75 cents of it goes toward food. And we're not talking about a grocery list of steak, gravy, and mashed potatoes. No, 75 cents will get you some bread or rice, just enough to keep you and your family from starving. And the rest of your dollar, a whopping 25 cents, goes towards things like housing, medical bills, and school. Things are far from ideal, but you can survive. Now imagine that tomorrow, the cost of food doubles. Suddenly that rice and bread you've been surviving on for 75 cents now costs $1.50. So now what do you do? You have some tough decisions to make. You can skip meals, leaving you sleepy and dizzy, unable to work or go to school. You can buy cheaper food, but it's worse for you. It leaves your body malnourished, unable to fight off potentially deadly diseases like malaria, pneumonia, and tuberculosis. Or you can decide not to pay for medical bills, which is fine until somebody in your family gets sick or hurt. You can stop going to school, but if you don't go to school, you won't get a decent job, and you will continue in your family cycle of poverty. This is how the global food crisis affects millions of people around the world. And the saddest part is, the crisis isn't because of a food shortage. Our planet is capable of producing enough food to feed twice the current population. The crisis is that people are going hungry because they don't have access to the food. So how can we fight hunger? By giving hungry families the tools they need to feed themselves. By investing in their economic development, they can earn better incomes and buy nutritious food, not just today, but for tomorrow and whatever uncertainty tomorrow might bring. Do World Vision's 30-hour famine and help build a better world for children.